Removing a background in Photoshop has just got even easier with this new toolbar at the bottom in Photoshop Beta. This feature allows you to simply remove a background by unlocking the layer and then just pressing one simple button to remove the background. And in a few seconds, boom, the background is now gone. Now, this is honestly a game changer, especially for beginners and people looking to learn Photoshop. But the cool thing about this is that you also have some other options available. Now, before we start to talk about these other options, if you're looking to use these features and you want to experiment with them, you need to go ahead and get yourself into the Creative Cloud. And to get yourself into Photoshop Beta, you just want to go to Apps, go down to Beta Apps, and then open up Photoshop. And then you will see all these features. So speaking of the new toolbar that has been added, this is like an extra feature that allows you to have a few simple shortcuts. Now, if you don't see this toolbar for whatever reason, then you just want to go to Window. And if you scroll down all the way to the bottom, you will see a new contextual taskbar. So let's try this with another image like this one, for example. If you had an image like this and you were to remove the background, you will notice that, of course, it removes the background, but sometimes it may leave a few imperfections here and there. Now, this is normal because, like I said, it is in its early stages. So you can see part of the arm has been destroyed and this area needs to be removed. But other than that, it has done a decent job on the other areas. What you'll notice as well, if you select the subject, you now have some other options available as well. This will then switch it to the second toolbar, which will give you things like the selection options, which is things like select border, and you can even go to select the mask through here. You also have the invert selection. You have things like transform selection, which allows you to change the scale if you wanted to. You have the mask adjustments. You also have some fill options right here, some other options such as hide bar, reset, pin, and of course, cancel as well. So personally, if I were working with this type of image, I would go ahead and go to select and mask. And as always in here, we're just going to lower the opacity down to something like 55. You can always change the color if you want to. To remove this, we can use the polygonal lasso tool and then hold an alt, left click and just remove this section from here. When it comes to the fine details, we can leave these out and then use the edge refinement tool and then just refine it from here. And there we go. You can also refine the hair as well, just by using this tool, refining it from here. And if you still have the color cast on here, you can just go down to the bottom and go to decontaminate colors. And this will just fix it up. You may need to also use the brush tool and then just fill this in and fix the arm area right here. And then once you're happy with the changes, all you need to do is go down to the bottom, set it to new layer with layer mask and press OK. And there we go. The background is now gone. From here, you can change it to anything that you want. If you wanted a plain white background, you can apply it onto here. And you can also add yourself any custom background just by dragging and dropping this into Photoshop, scale in this up and apply it onto here. And there you go. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click on the screen and watch the next video.